Hi there. I'm Randy Jones, and I'm going to demonstrate my prototype multi-touch controller for computer music. Let's take a look. This controller is an entirely passive device, which is to say it has no electric circuits that need power. It's made from birch plywood, plastic, metal, and rubber. To operate it, you need an audio interface. Here, I'm using the RME Fireface 800. In this application, the interface is not used to transmit sounds that you listen to, but control signals by which the computer can calculate the displacement of the controller's surface. Eight signals are sent from the outputs of the RME here to the carrier inputs of the controller. These are terminated in the flexible copper strips just under the plastic surface here. Beneath those pieces of copper is a sheet of rubber, and under that is another layer of copper strips, this time arranged in columns. Signals from the column strips go back out to the audio interface through this connector here and are amplified and sent back to the computer for processing. Each signal sent to one of the rows from the audio interface is a different frequency in the range of 10 to 20 kilohertz. These frequencies are high enough that the signals are capacitively coupled through the rubber sheet to the columns below. Pressing down on the surface squishes the rubber and changes the distance between the row and column strips. This changes the amount of signal transmitted at each point. The computer analyzes the eight column signals in the frequency domain to find the displacement of the surface at each of 64 points. After that, a centroid finding algorithm looks for groups of displaced points and calculates their centers, giving subpixel accurate x, y, and z coordinates for each touch. This is one of a very few multi-touch controllers that's made specifically for computer music. The touchscreen and the FTIR-based controllers generally have a sampling rate of 30 to 60 Hz. While this is good enough for visual work, demos, and games, you really need a sampling rate of around 1 kHz before you can capture the nuance of live musical performance. This prototype sampling rate is 44.1 kHz divided by 32, or around 1300 Hz. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>